Hey everyone, this is Adder. I would like to take a few minutes to share um, briefly my my story about coming to practice meditation and in particular coming to practice meditation in in our tradition uh, and becoming part of, of the community of Sri Mangalo International. Uh, my meditation practice started during uh, a very special and very difficult time of my life, which was uh, just after the the birth of of my son, and it was um, it was a difficult time for me. Uh, I I think I had long wanted a child, and I was very happy and excited to have one. Um, but but becoming a parent takes uh, an emotional toll on on one and I uh, and really is um, is an extreme experience of attachment you know uh, we sort of there are even sort of parenting philosophies based around you know building strong attachments to your child and um, you know, while I was taking the time to build these, you know, my relationship with, with my newborn, I experienced a lot of fear uh, for the first time in my life, like having something that I was so attached to that was outside of myself and, and really just worrying about um, what would happen if, if things didn't go right? Um, and, you know, so I, I saw there that I really needed a, a permanent solution to, to deal with whatever came up because I knew I had, you know, decades of, of difficulty ahead of me raising, raising a child. Um, and, you know, of course, just a lot of things in life become difficult. You know, I wasn't sleeping as much, and it put a lot of stress and tr strain throughout my life. Um, and, uh, and I was able to dive into meditation based on stuff I'd seen online. Um, before I came across Bhante's videos, I was reading uh, various books and, and participating in online communities that, um, that were into Vipassana, particularly in the in the Mahasi style. And I dove into this really quick and saw a lot of progress at first, but quickly became really sort of ungrounded and, and confused. Um, it's really hard to, to have a meditation practice that's self-guided. And th there were great online communities that I was part of that had a lot of peer guidance, but um, but it's tough because there's like a lot of people sort of spewing out their own hot takes, their own personal takes on on everyone else's practice. And so I, I was seeking explicitly um, a teacher, you know, in in the tradition of of Mahasi Saida who who would teach me for free, you know, who could meet online and uh, and help me out and I was yeah I was just pleasantly surprised when someone said oh well, there's this this monk that lives in Canada that does just this you know he's got all these videos but he'll uh, he'll also meet with you and do do live sessions um, so so when I discovered Bhante Yutadamo I immediately signed up for the at-home course and just started voraciously consuming his Dhamma talks. Um, so doing both of these at the same time, like both being able to have a very regular daily practice and to meet with a teacher once a week while also getting the big picture of the Dhamma through Bhante's talks was, was life-changing. Uh, and I, I hadn't thought I'd be going to do the uh, the live course anytime soon. You know, I had a pretty young child at home. I was at home a lot um, doing 
doing my family stuff and um, and all, all of my work commitments. Um, but but thankfully, you know, my as when I completed the course, I I knew I had to go to the center and and do a live course, and uh, my family was supportive of that, and so I was able to to head up to the center, which was at the time in Hamilton, and do a live course. And I just, I came out of that course a, a new person. Um, it, you know, it is, it's a setting where you can really dive into yourself. Like, you know, I spent a lot of time, as I was first learning meditation, reading about theory, learning about stages of insight and progress, and learning about the theory of the Dhamma, which I think can be valuable for sort of diving into the practice. Um, but, you know, but as Bhante told me during the course, like, you know, that stuff's not what's really interesting. What's interesting is is oneself, um, you know, and of course not in, not in like an introspective way, like in sort of like a Western psychoanalytical way, um, but just the opportunity to really sit with experience and dive as deep as one needs to go to really understand the nature of suffering. Um, yeah, I don't know. I could, I could go on about, about the nature of our courses and uh, if any of you, you know, want to reach out to me on Discord and just uh, chat about our experiences, I would love to. But uh, but the fact is that I I came out of there a, a changed man. Um, yeah, like just feeling like my baseline experience of the world is is different now, and that the suffering I experience on a day to day basis is well, far less and just of a different nature. You know, I, I now have these tools, not only skills that I've been trained in, like, you know, conscious mindfulness skills, but, um, but, but just my habitual reactions to things, I think, are forever shifted thanks to really, I mean, just the ability of this community to provide the perfect space for it and to support Bhante Yutadamo in in giving such a, a powerful guided course. Um, yeah, and it was after that course, you know, it was immediately after that course that I decided I wanted to, to volunteer for the organization and, and become part of this community. And that was, uh, for me, one of the, the main ways that I would give done uh, was to, to try to make sure that the community exists through service. And I, as we, you know, are doing this this project to raise funds for our meditation center. I I just see such a potential for good there. Um, you know, every single person that gets to do a live course is um, is having a life changing experience, and if we are able to stably and consistently offer that to more people. Uh, we're just you know, multiplying the good that we're doing by so much. Um, so I think that's all I have to say. Thank you all for listening. I, uh, I look forward to hearing testimonials from others and um, look forward to continuing on this, this project with you all.